Good evening. Welcome to worship tonight. I want to share a passage of scripture for our call to worship this evening. It's from Psalm 100. It says, Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. What a reason we have to worship tonight. Reason to give thanks for who God is. The psalmist welcomes us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise, to come with thanks to our God for all that he is, all that he has done for us through Christ, all that he's doing in us through the Holy Spirit, all that he will continue to do throughout all generations. It says sing joyful songs, celebrate. And so that's what we've come to do tonight, to celebrate through music, to celebrate through a time of sharing together, to celebrate through sharing the word of God and reading and reflecting upon it. Celebrate through prayer. That's why we come. So let us start off tonight in songs together. Let's stand and praise God's name together. This first song is called How Can I Keep From Singing? And that's exactly what it's all about is, is coming with a joyful song and saying, how can we keep from singing for who God is and what he's done for us? We have so many reasons to be thankful and to praise his name. So let us sing this together. Oh, yeah. 
bridge of that song talks about I can sing in the troubled times. I can sing when I win. I can sing when I lose my step and I fall down again. I mean, the reality of life is that we're going to have trouble. We come tonight to give thanks, to celebrate, but for some of you, it might be not a very enjoyable night. For some of you, it might be a pretty tough week, a pretty tough month, a pretty tough year. Sometimes it's hard to, to give thanks, to be joyful, to sing these joyful songs because life is tough. But the scriptures tell us that everything that comes to us comes from our Heavenly Father, from His fatherly hand. And we can consider it pure joy when we face trials and struggles of all kinds. Because we know that God is using that to, to persevere us, to build character, to strengthen our faith. And we can bless his name. He might give, he may take away, but in all those things we can bless his name for he is good and his plan is good. We may not see it, we might not be able to connect all the pieces together, but his promises are that it's for our good. If we love him, we are called according to his purposes. And so we can trust in him because he is faithful to complete what he says he will do. The story of Job is such a, a great reminder of how we can respond when life is tough. And when he had a really bad day, his response was to, to tear his robe, to shave his head, and to fall on the ground before God and say, naked I've come into this world, and naked I will leave it. You've given and you've taken away, but in all things, I will praise your name. That's what we get to do. And even tonight, we can give thanks for the tough times, as well as for all the good times as well. So this is blessed be your
for all that he gives. Sometimes we think, well, it's just because I have, because I work for it, or um, the blessings I have is because, you know, I'm just fortunate, or I'm lucky. And so often that's the mentality of the world. But we ought to know better. And we know that every good and perfect gift comes from above. And that we ought to spend time, not only tonight, I mean, we, we know if you've been here before that tonight we, we focus on giving thanks. But it ought to be something we do each and every day. For every single thing that God has given. And for every single moment of every day that we should we ought to be reflecting upon that reality. How good God is. And that all that we are, all that we have, is a gift from Him. So this song is reminding us of that reality that it's not by chance. It's not because of how good we are or how hard we work, but because of who God is. And He is the reason to be thankful.
moment tonight to give thanks. To thank you for who you are and for what you've done. Thank you for all your blessings. And also to thank you for our struggles. It's not strange that your word tells us to, to be joyful in our trials. It's not joy found in the hardships. It's joy found in you. Knowing that you will see us through them. Knowing that you have a plan and a purpose in all things. A joy in a relationship with you. Because we know you love us. We know because you gave yourself for us in the person of Jesus Christ. And if nothing else, that would be enough to give thanks for the rest of our lives. So Lord, we thank you for all that you've given. We come tonight to give thanks, but also to praise you the giver of every good and perfect gift. So we glorify you and honor you through singing joyful songs, just as the psalmist said. We praise and glorify you through reading your word, but not only reading it, but asking you to enlighten it into our hearts and minds, giving us the ability to live it out in our daily life. Lord, we come to pray. Prayer is such a simple thing, but what a great way to express our gratitude. Because in prayer, we're saying, God, you are on the throne. We need you. We want you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you for this opportunity tonight to share our gratitude and to give thanks. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.